hello, 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 friends. How are you? Welcome to my channel, Simply Sophia. So, listen, it is Sunday evening. <laughs> so, this brunch is going to be an evening brunch, but on the replay, it's whatever day you want it to be. Um, I'm I don't know if you can hear the music. Excuse that. You see the title. We're gonna make a delicious uh, jackfruit, barbecue jackfruit. Every brought you to my channel. Welcome. You're meant to be here. Almost knocked over the bowl. You're well. You're meant to be here. So stay a little while and subscribe. Get down there, subscribe, and like this video. And uh, so I'm gonna give you a little break to do that. Okay, let's get into it. Now that you've subscribed and you've liked this video, let's start cooking. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get to this um, pulled pork, which is our jackfruit. So the jackfruit I bought last week, <laughs> see the video, I failed, yeah. So I failed because I bought ripe jackfruit. No, <laughs> you need unripe jackfruit. So I got the one from Trader Joe's, they have it at most grocery stores well mm, health food stores um, grocery stores so I got this in the can uh, the whole jackfruit is pr this is actually the whole jackfruit if you can see it um, it's pretty big I mean this is not the scale it's like this big usually so in the can is just so much easier and I've already started to drain it a little bit this is tissue some tissue in here because what you want to do is take out a lot of the moisture in it before you saute it so give me a sec I tried to use a paper towel to kind of get it really bone dry even though I opened it up rinsed it and had it on a paper towel or in a strainer and then on a paper towel it's still packed in a lot of moisture the key to getting it the key to getting it very meaty is or the key to success from what I hear is to get it really dry so this is my first time trying this recipe I didn't even test it before I'm making it now um, so we're gonna find out <laughs> what it's gonna taste like together. But I've actually had this recipe at a local restaurant. So I've definitely tasted it before, but I haven't made it on my own. I haven't made it on my own. Excuse me if I'm looking down. Pretend this is a live video. <laughs> so here it is. It's already looking pulled pork-ish, pulled chicken. You know that chicken that you put in burrito? So the recipe that I'm using, you see the title, is both from um, Tabitha Brown and from Minimalist Baker. So I'm kind of merging their recipes together and um, seeing what I come up with. <laughs> so now that that's all broken apart, I'm gonna mash it, break it up a little bit more. Oh, one other thing that I did do also was take off I don't know what you would call it. I guess the rind. I guess I'm gonna call it the rind. It's like the, so the jackfruit, there's like a hard, more firm pieces. I took those off cause they seem pretty rough. I don't know how that's gonna affect the recipe, but Minimalist Baker, they took it out. So I took it out and Tabitha Brown, she left it in it seems. So I guess you could do either or. But I'm just going to take it out and see how that is and maybe cook these other pieces separately and see how they match as far as text the texture of the pulled 
pork or pulled chicken. Okay, so now that I have that together, so this is pretty much a quick recipe once you have all your ingredients together. I'm gonna go Okay, so I am I am using some light cooking oil. And wait till my pot gets hot. Can you see that? Well, then um, once that's hot, I'm going to add in my jackfruit. But let's give it a second. And while that's um, warming up, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to put in there. So I have all my spices all together. So what's in here? Black pepper, chipotle powder, um, garlic powder, lots of garlic powder. Um, Tabitha loves garlic powder and I do too. I will put all the measurements that I used in this recipe in the description box. So take a peek there or you can go to my Instagram and I'll post it there also. And pictures of the final product um, I also have uh, what else do I have oh mixed seasoning so a mix of um, herb seasoning multi seasoning without salt um, did I say paprika yes I have paprika and a literally a pinch of Himalayan salt I'm going to add that in while it's in the pot so the first thing we're going to do before we add the spices I'm going to add some lemon juice, some fresh squeezed lemon juice, and some apple cider vinegar. Now, this is on medium heat. I'm going to go ahead and add in my apple cider vinegar back up I'm gonna add in I'm gonna use honey instead of maple syrup so that's one change I totally forgot the maple syrup and I'm gonna add all the spices okay so here is all the ingredients mixed in really well. I'm going to let this saute for another 10 minutes and we'll come back and take a look at it. This is on low to medium heat. So my tripod, I'm having a little bit of issues with it, but that's fine. So while my uh, barbecue pulled pork is cooking, I already made the sauce for our slaw. So we're gonna use purple cabbage. These are our purple cabbage that I've already chopped up. So that's for our slaw. And i um, already made the dressing, which is avocado. That's what's left. Avocado, lemon juice, a uh, pinch of salt. Um, instead of maple syrup or brown, brown sugar, I used honey and that's about it and also some water to get it a little bit more creamy for the most part it's still pretty green that's because of the lemon juice but I added also some water to it to make it a little bit more creamier and I'll probably add a little bit more water right and I would have left it like this but I also had some leftover homemade tahini sauce so I decided to mix in a little bit of tahini in this um, dressing and kind of see how that tastes how are those flavors so I'm gonna go ahead and put this avocado dressing mix in with my red cabbage and see what we get all right so I went ahead and add my barbecue sauce probably kept it for too long while I was recording but I'm going to add a little bit of water to kind of get this grit off the bottom and it's going to lift right up and cover it for another five minutes oh 
Okay. Here is our barbecue jackfruit. It is ready. Turning off the stew. Wow. That looks very, very... Wow, that looks just like pulled pork. Just like pulled pork. That's amazing. Okay, so here is the pulled pork and our avocado slaw. And I use the small dinner rolls because I don't want to eat a lot of carbs. So I give myself the cute little dinner rolls. Or, so this is it. I don't know if you can see it to the side. You go. I'll leave pictures up on Instagram. Okay, so now the taste test. Oh, here it is. Oh, there you go. Zoom it out a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I didn't put a lot of... Uh, See a lot of the um, pulled jackfruit. We're gonna give it a try. Here we are. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Mm. That was really good. I'm going to have one more without the bread. Okay. So here is instead of kale, I'm going to use this Swiss chard. Um, it's a little bit I guess a lighter or softer I should say so um, I would steam it but you could steam it to kind of soften the stem a little bit but um, I think this one might pass so what we're gonna do is add a little bit I've eaten a lot of it already I'm gonna add a little bit of our avocado slaw I guess you can call this oh, that's enough actually a little bit of our barbecue pulled jackfruit. It, it's sad. It gives you the satisfaction. I think that's enough. All right. So basically, excuse me, you're going to do, let's see, I hope without steaming the ends, it's not, yeah, it's not going to be a problem. Okay. So I'm going to put head to toe first, right? And then I'm going to Hopefully I didn't add too much. I don't think so, yeah. Wrap it up. There we go. Yep, I didn't add too much. And I would do a few of these. Add a little. I would like steam it so it can seal. But you can still eat it like that. I would do a few of these so you have a nice little meal and use some more fulfilling. So you have like about, I don't know, however, you, however amount of many you want to have. I'll probably have like six of these and yeah and they're nice and bite-sized so i'm gonna give it a try this is like the the little mini rolls that i made mm -mm. it's not a very ladylike food but here it goes in on the inside my lighting is so bad you can't see it, but it's delicious.
The Swiss chard, the crunchiness of the Swiss chard is delicious. So you don't really miss the bread. I mean, it's not replacing bread, but obviously it's a container, but it definitely tastes, I love that crunchiness of the greens and the cabbage, all of it comes together. I would even do a regular, um, you can make a, like a homemade mayo to go with this or whatever type of, if you're a vegan, you could do vegan mayo, vegetarian, or just straight up homemade mayo. All of it works. Mm. Mm. It's good. So whatever I have left over tonight, I'm going to definitely eat tomorrow, so I'm never going to freeze it. I don't know how it would do in the freezer. I'm not going to freeze it. I'm just going to put it in a container in the refrigerator. And so with the... Well, the cabbage law is done, so. Um, and I had an abundance of avocado. So instead of making mayo, I just used the avocado. And that's also in the minimalist baker recipe. They use avocado, so I was like, perfect. You know, use one of these avocados, because you know they, they go quickly. And I have a few, so. Definitely a great idea. I love both. Tabitha Brown's recipe and Melmus Baker together. The difference is where Tabitha Brown used uh, maple syrup, I think, and Minimalist Baker used brown sugar in making of uh, the pulled um, the pulled jack jackfruit. So that was a difference, and I used honey. So <laughs> I didn't follow either, but I'm definitely gonna try it with the maple syrup. Yeah, I'll see. I don't think I would do anything different. And then I'll just try different ways, like using the mayo instead of the avocado. Maybe use a whole avocado and just like stick it in there. And, uh, or mushrooms. Definitely mushrooms with the jackfruit. I think that could be interesting. So yeah, play around with it and uh, enjoy it. Thank you for joining me on our Sunday <laughs> brunch. I hope you come back. Um, next Sunday or um, hopefully I can be able to post another video midweek and uh, keep to my goal of two videos a week if you make this recipe leave a comment below would you even try plant-based meat let me know your thoughts have you tried jackfruit as a pulled pork or pulled meat substitute let me know if you like it try it I want to hear your thoughts on um, incorporating plant-based into your diet, period. So glad you're, you came and we had something delicious to eat together. I hope you make this. Leave a comment below. Also, come on this journey on this channel on my goal to a thousand subscribers. I'll be sharing a lot of food recipes like this. Mostly plant-based, if you haven't noticed um, already, because a lot of this channel will be about health and wellness and self-care and lots and lots of food. So definitely come along for the journey. I uh, would love to see you there. And I will see you in the next one. Again, don't forget to like, sh like share, and subscribe. Bye.